Yeah, all right, you want to be bargains? Pied a bargain here, mate. Most handsome bargain and all into everything is. Coming to you from Saigon, Ho Chi Minh. And we're going to just do a few do's and don'ts. What to do here, what not to do. Where to stay, where not to stay. And um, maybe some of these apps that makes life a little bit easier here in uh, here in Saigon. Ho Chi Minh, whatever you want to call it. And um, stick around because uh, we're going to have some pretty interesting news on what to do here, what to do going into Thailand and you know just how to make life a little bit easier, a bit more street smart and make sure you enjoy your trip. Alright, let's start with some apps eh? Google Maps, make sure you get that on your phone. Hey, <laughs> you'd be lost without that a few times. So, um, yeah, make sure you get Google Maps there. And uh, another good app, especially here in um, Saigon or Ho Chi Minh or Vietnam or wherever, Grab. Grab's like uh, Uber. They'll deliver food and all that sort of stuff, but you can also choose whether to go by a car or buy a motorbike. I usually go by a car, a little bit safer, and uh, you know, motorbike for the shorter trips probably. But um, it's all pretty easy to, to work out. You, you know, for example, you grab a car, you're leaving from wherever you're leaving from. No, I don't want that advertisement going to where you know quite often go there it'll um, pinpoint where you are choose your pickup now here when you're choosing your pickup and let me just move my head down here when we choose the pickup just zoom in and make sure it is well, I'm smacking the middle of the shopping center at the moment but it is where you want to go so I'd be getting picked up at the main gate there Right, choose that for a pickup. It also tell me exactly how much it's going to cost me. Okay, so yeah, 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 yeah. So as you can see, uh, car 101, and then your bike would be 43. So there's a fair bit of difference going by bike, but I don't feel safe <laughs> when I'm not in control of the motorbike. I don't feel safe. So that's another good one to have. Um, my phone actually takes two SIM cards. It's probably worthwhile bringing an old phone. Um, or if you do have a dual SIM card phone, use that one. I keep my Australian SIM card in there. And uh, because I use Boost, Boost will, um, any missed calls come through, it'll let me notify me. Any messages, it'll notify me for free. It's when I actually answer the phone call on boost that's when i'm getting charged roaming fees so don't bother about that i'll just call someone back usually on skype but saying all that yeah, no i don't want to grab my car at the moment saying all that handy ones to have here is whatsapp um, everyone should have WhatsApp by these days. WhatsApp, okay. Um, get so you keep in contact with all your friends and family. Let everyone know that uh, you're on WhatsApp. Make sure that they're on the WhatsApp. That gives you free phone calls while you're on the internet, and you can send. Uh, files, you can do video conferencing, video calls, all that sort of stuff as well. Very handy to have. Single fellas, I can hear you saying, Pete, single fellas. Well, single fellas, mate, Tinder. Tinder's quite popular here. The other one would be um, Vietnam Cupid. If you're looking for a date or whatever, you can um, jump on to those dating sites and usually use them for free same sort of deal another one i put on is this one uh this is my sweat app my sweat coin app so 
while I'm walking around, I'm earning extra coins while I'm walking. I can watch a 10 second ad um, and earn some more coins that way as well. There's going to be links in the description below on how to get your Sweatcoin app. Another handy one that I do use. And uh, I've been using this one lately, Steppen. Um, you know, unfortunately, you've got to buy a shoe to earn some points. Then, as you can see there, I need to uh, fix it up with the, this little tool there. Um, and I'm going to spend more money fixing that up. But, you know, it's getting me some um, coins. So I'm earning... Uh, I'm earning those green coins, green GST coins, and uh, also transferring that into Solana. So there are some of the apps that I use. When we go into Thailand, we probably use a couple of different apps, but Grab I use pretty much every day. Um, and also these sweat coins if you're walking around, so and stepping as well. So there's a couple of apps that you should have have a spare phone grab the sim card here i'm using moby phone um vietel is probably a better one but either or uh whatever that was whatever it was 20 no it was 200 i don't know what it was it was um it was bugger all it was about 20 bucks gave me 20 gigs and unlimited phone calls um domestically so not that you'd be making a lot of phone calls, but um, it is handy to have uh, a local SIM card in that local country, for, depending on how long you're staying here for. You know, I had mine for a month, because I can't believe it's already been a month, but uh, we use Mobifone. So Mobifone or Viettel, either or. Um, I think that's about it on, uh, on necessary apps that you're going to need here. Um, Oh, my sports bet, can't log in because I'm overseas, uh, can't get a lottery ticket because I'm overseas, but um, that happens, doesn't it, you know? Um, line also, Line is a very popular one, uh, that's more popular probably in Thailand than Vietnam. Um, but yeah, Line's another good one to have. Same as, similar to WhatsApp. It, uh, you can video call, conference, send stuff, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, they're um, definitely apps to have if you're uh, interested in earning some extra coins while walking around. Um, certainly go and get the sweat coin um, link in the descriptions of this video. Yeah, look, went in Rome, do us the Romans. Went in Vietnam, might as well eat some Vietnamese food, even if you are a fussy eater. Most of these restaurants are, you know, pictures on the wall. If there's, if there's someone in there eating, it's possibly pretty good food. Someone else going in, so, you know, 55, 60, 65's two bucks. Two dollars, you know. If you don't like it, throw it away. But have a look around, see what the locals are eating, and um, just have a go. You know, even if you are a fussy eater, have a go, have a crack at it. Some of it is quite nice. I just make sure there's no chili in it, and um, yeah, yummo, all that tea, nice and cheap. Let's start with brekkie. This is known as. Bunja. Awesome little meatballs and whatnot in there and a bit of noodles and a bit of salad. Good healthy brekkie. Alright, let's talk about some street smarts. Um, a bag helps. This, uh, this bag here. Just a little knapsack, cheap one. Waterproofs, just so in case you get caught in the rain or you're sweating the heat. You know, carry your water in there. Um, cotton t-shirts, mate. Have a spare one in your bag. Okay, it's going to get hot and sweaty. You want a cotton. 
You want a nice, comfortable walking shoe. Definitely, definitely want a nice, comfortable walking shoe. Also, look, your pants. Pants mean a fair bit. These have big pockets, big deep pocket, and I'll keep my money down in here, okay? And Velcro. See how I can Velcro that, and it's a nice deep pocket. Right? Don't put anything in your back pocket. The back pocket might get pinched, okay? There's there's pick pick pock picket pocket pocket pickers everywhere. Peter Piper had a pocket picker in his pocket. Anyway, 10% of people are bad everywhere, everywhere you go, it doesn't matter what country it is. If you're going to hang around the go-go bars and walk in the streets and place like that, you're going to find a few more sleazier people. So you don't want your stuff stolen, especially out of your back pocket. Um, money, I'll only keep enough for the day in my pocket. The rest I'll have that stashed away somewhere safely at home. Um, so I don't carry around too much. Carry a false wallet, something that's not too much in there, in deep into a pocket that you can zip or velcro up because you don't want them pinched. Sometimes when it's a bit too hot outside, you'll find a big shopping centre, usually on the top level. Um, there's, you know, there might be like a game centre or something like that over there, and. Uh, an area where you can actually sit down where it's nice and comfortable and it's air conditioned. There's not many places where you can just go and sit down. Um, but head into a, uh, a shopping mall, um, head upstairs and just try and find a comfy lounge where you can sit down and uh, catch your breath for half an hour or whatever. Find yourself a big supermarket. Go in there, grab, a, grab some nibblies that you want to stick in the fridge, a little bit of extra food in the fridge. Um, you know, I come in here, grab my juices, grab some fruit, grab some bickies, grab some nibblies, just uh, just to hang out in my room. Now, just note that when you do walk into these places, quite often the bigger ones anyway, they'll want to um, zip tie your bag, your zipper up on your bag so that you can't take anything. Some of them you won't even allow bags in there, they'll take your bags, give you a number. And then when you finish your shopping, go back and collect your bag. But yeah, big, big supermarkets, they got everything pretty cheap. You know, I can, uh, I don't know if I can zoom in there or not, but I can, uh, I can see some wheat picks right there. Oh, yeah. yeah, some wheat picks right there. So, you know, get your nibbles in there. I'm going to shout myself out to the movies. So, um, the new um, rock movie, whatever his name is, Dark Adam, uh, premier seats, and a large popcorn and a large drink, all of $10. Hey, pretty good bargain if you ask. Yeah, I just had a crack at one of these. Not bad, actually. Three bucks for half an hour. Yeah, it's like uh, having, I don't know, two or three sets of hands working on the body. Lower back and then your legs and your arms, they're up on the shoulders. It was well worthwhile. It brings me back to another uh, street smart tip. I carry around a bottle of uh, hand sanitizer, a small bottle. Usually have that in my pocket. So whenever I've, um, you know, done something like this and touched a public place without being too paranoid I will wash my hands okay and just sanitize them um, <clears throat> it's not that you know I'm paranoid about it I don't wear a mask uh, the only place I have to wear a mask is the hospital but after playing on something like that I would strongly suggest carrying around one of these <laughs> Yeah, so you can see that uh, they hooked me up to, with the needles, they hooked me up to this electronic machine and puts an electronic pulse through the, the nerves and uh, I'm certainly feeling a lot better, a lot healthier, um, 
getting full movement in an arm in a shoulder that was completely seized up so slowly building its strength back look um, another little hot tip I've got for you is, is that if you do stay here for a you know, fairly long time well more than a week I would suggest moving out into the suburbs I'm staying in the suburbs there's absolutely no foreigners where I am so it's quite easy to make friends it's a lot cheaper um, it's not you know you're not just getting hassled by um, street beggars or uh, um, people trying to sell stuff on, on the streets and um, you make friends you can you know, very easily I'm looking I've made friends we, we can't communicate but made some friends so you know it's um I'd strongly strongly suggest no matter where you go I mean it was the same when I was living in Japan live in the suburbs a little bit more where there's a lot less foreigners and um, you seem to have a bit of a better time and you meet some nice people so this is um Saigon signing off I think uh, our oh, next vid will be um, not tomorrow but the next day I'm moving to Bangkok um, and I'm going to spend a month in Thailand I'll probably come back to Vietnam for another month or so and then uh, Perth for a month or so or maybe a month um, check out the UFC and then I'm certainly heading back to either Vietnam or Thailand again so my next video will be um, coming into Thailand and uh, how to get through the airport there hassle-free. So for now, yeah, no, nah, yeah, bogan out.